Hey, welcome to the basketball season. We're really excited. We've had a very good summer of training and um, a couple exhibition games under our belt. Feel really good about where we're at right now as a team. We're ahead of schedule, I think, on both ends of the court, offensively and defensively. Really uh, proud of our senior leadership and um, our three captains, how well they're doing. And, um, you know, this is a team with tremendous depth and talent and um, – we really look forward to getting out there and playing against somebody else now and to really test our systems on both offense and defense. So uh, exciting year, a uh, big week in front of us. Obviously, the old uh, coach cliche, you know, got to take them one at a time with three games on the road. But uh, um, opening up with UC Davis, uh, a team that we have enormous amount of respect for and their coaching staff, a very talented team, a team that uh, we were very fortunate to beat here in Pullman last year in the WNIT. Um, so we're looking forward to getting out and, at UC Davis and playing with a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, I think you're going to have an opportunity to see quite a few players rotate in and, in and on and off the court uh, just because of the depth and talent that we have right now in the program. Um, can you talk a little bit about that depth you got? You got a chance last year with all the injuries to to play a ton of minutes for yeah. for players that weren't getting it, and now you get your injured players back. You yeah. have the depth of those players. Can you just talk about about a little bit about that? Right. Well, first of all, hats off to the players that were remained standing and, and didn't get hurt. And I, I thought they showed an enormous amount of mental toughness, and they were able to get us all the way to the Final Four in the WNIT. And they improved a lot and took advantage of the minutes that they were able to receive because of the different injuries that happened in the program. I mean, keep in mind, because of the injuries, we had a, almost 60 points sitting on the bench uh, during most of the season last year in boots and wearing you know crutches and all those crazy things but um, they our medical staff did a great job of turning them all around they're all back and they're they're playing really good basketball I think one of the interesting things is commixing the the team that really played hard and was able to get us all the way to that final four in the WNIT with the returners and um, so far I think that um, what we have found out is you know what we can play really hard if we can play hard for 40 minutes and keep rotating the talent that we have in this program we could have a really exciting and successful year so um, you know the players have all improved and um, I think as a coaching staff, we are very proud of, of how hard everybody's worked. And we feel like this is going to be our year. So we're re really excited to get started. Well, and you got a chance to see that depth and the, the mix of the players in a scrimmage against Eastern Washington, mm -hmm. in which you dropped 105 points. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a week later against uh, the Masters, scoring 95, took yep. 100 shots, and actually didn't look that good great on offense at times. The ball just wasn't going in. It was one of those nights and still scored 95. Mm -hmm. um, what did you see in those two games that, that yeah, you, I, you like? I think that you got to look on the other side of the ball and see that we were able to hold people under 60. That's always a goal for us. And I think that when our defense is clicking on all cylinders, um, you know, because we're athletic, because we're long, because we can continue to rotate a lot of people at our opponents, you know, we're able to turn them over, hopefully out rebound them and get some easy transition buckets on the other end. You know, when you get those easy buckets, it makes that basket get just a little bit bigger each time. And then the next few times down the court, when you are in a half-court game against your opponent um, and move the basketball the way we want to move the basketball, then I think we get some good looks. Those those uh, shots go in. But we're always looking for what we call easy buckets in our in our game, whether that's in the full court or off our transition, or off our transition or in the half-court game. And uh, I think our players are starting to understand that we're not there yet. But uh, the more we can share that basketball, the better we set screens, the easier shots we're going to get for our teammates. Because like you said, there's going to be nights where you don't shoot it really well, but you've got to count on your defense and your second shot opportunities on the offensive boards to get it done. Well, and you, as you stated, you're, you're hitting the road for three games, all good opponents, uh, all opponents you saw last year, mm -hmm. including starting with uh, UC Davis, who returns all five starters from yeah. the Big West championship team. Can you talk a little bit about those uh, those upcoming games and maybe some yeah. specifics? Yeah, I mean, you talk about a veteran team. You know, they, they definitely have that with their whole starting lineup back. And, um, you know, they, they 
they're a team that is going to throw, I believe, going to throw a lot of different defensive looks at us, much like what they did last year. And so, you know, we have to be able to execute a very high level no matter what defensive scheme the opponent is in and take advantage of our talent. But, um, you know, we have to be quick to recognize the changing defenses. We've got to get in the right gaps if it's against the zone. We've got to be able to overload sides and, and be able to take advantage of zone defenses if that's the case. I think we've got to do a much better job of moving the basketball very quickly, whether it's against the full court or half court defensive schemes that they tend to mix up. Um, I, I think that uh, the other thing is, you know, if we continue to do that and share the basketball the way I believe we can, then, you know, we should be able to tackle about any defense we see. And then it, outside of wins and losses, what, what to you would be a successful opening weekend? What, what if, if you looked at a, a box yeah. score or just sat down with a team, like I said, outside of the wins or losses, um, what what would you as a coach say? Yeah, successful? you know, success for obviously you want to win. Everybody wants to win, and and that's that's fun. That's fun. But we want to play as a team. You know, our kind of the theme that's been tagged on us is united team, and and you know, part of that for us is making sure that we're doing everything we can defensively to communicate on the floor, to make sure that we don't put our teammate in harm's way. Let's say against a screen action, that that we are continually helping each other so that we can pressure our opponents, knowing that. If we pressure hard and for some reason they get loose, like let's say on a backdoor cut or into the post, something easy, that there's help coming so that we can always support our teammates. I think that our rotations are improving each day uh, defensively, and that's really exciting to see. I think offensively, it really comes down to the, our ability to make sure that we're always putting our teammates in good situations to get easy shots. I think if we share the basketball, if we space the floor, if we make the cuts that we're supposed to make and continually work hard offensively to, to really spread the defense, spread the floor, I think we're going to be able to do that. So sharing the basketball is going to be big defensively, not just getting that person up on the basketball, but making sure that help rotations in place. And I think thirdly for us is rebounding. I think rebounding is probably our biggest question mark with our team right now is can we really get excited about getting all over the O boards and getting those extra shots and those extra opportunities for our teammates? And defensively, can we keep teams off the glass. Um, that, that was a little bit of a sore thumb for us last year, both those areas. It's something that we've been focusing on. I don't think we're there yet when I watch our practices. So if we can come out of those three games doing those three things, I, I think that we'll feel pretty good about uh, the growth and the progression that we're making this early in the preseason.